up drama divas and drama dudes welcome back to Christine Does Drama today I'm going to be reviewing the latest episode of Empire but before I get into it as always let's talk Empire gossip so first things first congratulations to Jesse Smollett he has signed to Columbia Records he has an amazing voice and we love him as you more in Empire so congratulations so of course because um, Jesse Smollett plays a gay character there's been a lot of speculation about his sexuality and Malik Yoba um, who's in Empire as well he uh, made a statement to a magazine calling um, out um, Jesse for being gay and he seems to chat to the statement saying he wasn't talking about Jesse he was talking about um, his character that he plays and that he was misquoted but um, the, the debate or the questions kind of rage on and I, I mean I'm not really too bothered I think it's a great compliment to him as an actor that people um, think that he's that he's actually gay because he makes such a convincing gay character in Empire so I don't think it really matters and he won't he won't add to the speculation um, he won't say if he is gay or not he was on Sway in the morning and he's, he said that he doesn't want to talk Apparently, about it Peter Diddy wants to sue um, Empire he says that they've taken his life story which to me is like what did, when does P Diddy have ALS and have a wife who's been prison for 17 years for drugs so I'm not sure if I believe this story but apparently this is what I've read P Diddy is not happy with the Empire producers and that they've taken his life story so have you heard about this whole thing with Monique and her being blackboard from Hollywood apparently she was going to be the lead in um, Empire she was going to play Cookie and um, it's all come out now all the different characters that have come out apparently little Romeo as I remember him or Romeo now was going to be one of the brothers and Wesley Wesley Snipes was going to play uh, Terence Howard's character of Lucius but I'm really happy with the cast that it is I'm sure Monique would have made it work she's an amazing actress but Empire's Empire we love it though just the way it and is and finally could Empire be coming to a stadium near you apparently they want to do like a Glee style show a tour of all the songs and stuff I think that would be an amazing idea I really love Empire's music we all love Empire's music so a tour would be a great idea. So let's go ahead and talk about this week's show. And it started off with an amazing electric scene. I swear this could have been like a, a season finale for another show. But it's just, I don't know, Empire just has just has you on the edge of your seat every single minute. So at first you see Annika and Lucius planning their wedding. And then out of the blue you see Cookie come in with Portia. And she's like, hey, I know that Annika's a snake. She's been working with Billy Beretti and um, Pat Portia, which we were kind of unsure whether she was gonna go and work for Annika but it turns out that she took Annika's money and she was actually working against her she still was very much a cookie style which I love I love that she, that um, she wasn't gonna betray cookie so what happens is um Lucius is really upset and angry and says look don't do this like let's you know why would you betray me he still kind of wants her to stay but at, at the same time he wants to know the dirt about Billy Beretti he wants to know what she's been doing and, and Annika's just so fed up with it and I just you can just see the pain in her eyes and I love that scene when she said to him look I'm not a treacherous person but look what you've done to me and it's true she she loved him and then he wouldn't accept with cookie twice so it's all hands on deck everyone at empire is trying to save the artist to make sure that billy beretti doesn't steal any of their artists they're trying to steal artists they're trying to get artists they're trying to make sure that empire doesn't you know go under underwater so everyone's working really really hard and cookie goes and tries to get an artist for empire and it was just such a hilarious scene so she goes to that like ghetto hood uh, recording studio trying to get this um, artist back on, into Empire so she challenges him to a drinking contest she's like yeah I went to jail I was there for 17 years look I'm I can drink you under the table and they had this like purple drink and him and <laughs> her and this artist were drinking and the and Cookie eventually won. It was just so funny. I thought that she was playing there. I thought maybe she wasn't really drunk, but it turns out that she was really drunk. And so she was out there. She, she came out of the building. She was stumbling. It was a bad neighborhood. And this guy tried to steal her bag. And it turns out that Derek Luke, his um, the character, he's played that security guard. He's watching her, trails her, and uh, he manages to stop the robber. But Cookie is all over him. Oh my day. She's all over him. She's like, you're so fine. She's so drunk. She's an absolute mess. She spreads her legs open as, as he's trying to get her in the car. And she's like, and she's like, look, you want the nookie? I'm kicky. All that. Oh my days. It was hilarious. But Derek Luke, he's very smart. He's like, look, I see the way that Lucius looks at you. He's in love with you. And if I get involved with you, I'm going to be in massive trouble. But 
I'm so confused about Lucius. Yes. Is he in love with two women? I'm not sure. Is he in love with Annika and in love with Cookie? Well, you know, I have to, I, I don't really understand where his mind is at the moment. So Jamal is having fun with his new boyfriend, um, Ryan, the director, who is absolutely gorgeous. And um, Ryan introduces him to Estelle, who's actually being called Delphine or Delphina in um, Empire at the moment. So I'm loving that they're representing the Brit, had Naomi Campbell and they've got Estelle. And I've actually seen Estelle in real life. Um, she does live in West London, um, where I'm from. So I've seen her around the streets of, Lo of West London. I remember I was with my friends once and I saw her and um, she's very shy. So I remember going, oh my God, it's Estelle. And she was kind of like, looked at me and smiled and then kind of looked away. So yeah, she's a brilliant artist. I loved the song that they did, the, the Conquer song. Oh, it was amazing and I loved Jamal more than her chemistry it's just beautiful so we see um lucius and judd nelson aka the guy from the breakfast club aka billy baretti he's there with um his gang of um, um record people and we've got lucius with his gang of security guy and producers and all that stuff and they're meeting for the first time since annika has gone over to the dark side and you see like it's just crazy everyone has guns everyone is against each other it's just crazy and um billy baretti um in the episode revealed that he had a son who died and he looked at lucius as his son and was very uh, depressed and upset when lucius left his record label so um lucius brings it up again to um judd nelson's character billy baretti and they have this kind of face off and then billy baretti gets the gun and points it in lucius face but lucius is smart he knows that billy baretti isn't going to pull the trigger and all all the sides pull out their guns it's just so crazy but eventually things calm down and mellow down and Lucius kind of says you know I've got this I'm gonna you know I'm still that I'm still the boss man blah 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 and he goes off in the his car. The scene of the episode for me was when Andre, Jamal and Hakeem were trapped in the elevator and I read on Instagram that Jesse Smollett said that that was also his favourite scene of the series um, that whole scene and it, it just made me like tear up basically because you know Andre's suffering with bi bipolar and you see him in the elevator just kind of freaking out about everything, about the business you see also in the episode he's kind of acting a bit manic when he's trying to recruit um, an artist to the label so they're all in the elevator together and um they're trying to calm him down and J uh, jamal says to um andre remember when we were kids and there was stuff going on auntie carol she was high and there were shots being fired and then you and our mom cookie she you sang us a song you sang us lean on me and they all started singing it and then you see like jamal crying and they all hug and it's just such a sweet sweet scene and it's so simple yeah it just just got me it was it was a really really beautiful so Hakeem kind of traps Annika um he cut um kind of undercuts her so basically they're outside and he's trying to say oh your family and don't don't um, give up on Lucius but meanwhile behind him you see Cookie and you see um Tiana and they're both together and um, Cookie's trying to get her to sign back with Empire and um basically Tiana's like no well you know when me and Hakeem broke up you kind of like left 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 me left me in the cold I wasn't getting as much publicity as I was and she wants to get back with Hakeem so that she can get that publicity again but um Hakeem's really honest with her and says that he's in love with Camilla and that that's his girl and I kind of admire him for that but you know I really did like Tiana and Hakeem together as well but we had to wait and see what happens with that also a really great scene in the episode was when um, you see Estelle, Delphine's, um, her character, they're all at Leviticus and they all sing that beautiful song. You're so beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. And you see Tiana come back and you see Haki, you see Jamal, you see um, Cookie and, and you see Lucius playing the piano and everyone's all hype and having fun and then Delphine signs with Empire and I just, I just love that scene and I love that song. So the episode comes to a heartbreaking end when Andre is sectioned you see him having a full kind of manic episode at the end of the episode they've locked him in the um an office and he's just completely freaking 
freaking out. He didn't take his medication. He threw it in the toilet in the beginning scenes of the episode. And it's just so sad and so heartbreaking to see because he's such a strong guy. He's almost like the rock of the family. They don't pay him as much attention as they should, but he really does keep it all together. And just to see him like that and to see his wife um, so heartbroken, it was so, so sad. And I really want to see what happens next So episode. guys, we've come to the end of this Empire recap. Let me know what you thought about this excellent episode. I cannot wait for next week. I know Jennifer Hudson and Mary J. Blige are going to be in the next week's episode. So I cannot wait to see how it, uh, things pan out with Andre. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video because I do Empire reviews every single week. And I will see you soon, drama divas and dudes.